Hey guys, so I want to do a quick diet update while it's quiet and hopefully we won't have any interruptions. But um, I'm going on to the next phase of my diet. Um, I'm still working on an exercise routine and I'm still working on eating right and making healthy choices. I'm still working on all of that, of course. I am doing better at everything. I'm still trying to get back on track with my exercise. I got off track, but I'm getting back there. Y'all, can y'all be quiet for a minute? Um, <laughs> I'm going to the next phase, which is a cap on how many calories I take in for the day. What happens when, when I use my fitness pal and I log in my food and my calorie, my food and my exercise and my water and everything, and it calculates how much I've burned and it tells me I've done well, no matter what. It's always under 1,800 calories. I may have eaten 2,500 calories and burnt off 800, and they'll tell me I did great for the day. So, <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm not eating no more than 20 to 2,000 calories a day. Period. I don't want to eat 2,500 calories. That's bad. And I have been eating, um, for the last 30 days, I've eaten 2,500 cal over 2,000 calories. Not, let me see. I've eaten 2,500 calories over the last 30 days. Um, my computer's moving a little slow. Oh, you hit the baby with the door. Get him, please. Oh, is he okay? He's just upset. He's okay. So, um, darn, my computer's moving really slow. I thought I could just pull this up really quick for you. And um, maybe tell you guys real quick. Shh. Yeah, no. I know my weight report is bad. But I've been really bloated for the last few days, so I don't know if that's because of that. I don't know. It's like a, it's crazy. So, well, if I look at the last 30 days, I have um, three days where I have gone over the 2,000 calories mark. in the last 30 days. One day I went over that mark this week. And I'm most likely gonna go over today. Um, just like on, let's see, on the 26th of, Jan of Jan February, 26th of February, I took in almost 2,100 calories. On the 9th of March, please please. I took in 2,000, well, 2,065 calories and on the 18th I took in 2,023 calories yesterday I took in almost I didn't go over the 2,000 mark but I took in 1965 so as you can see it's not a major crazy problem but I haven't gone to 2,500 calories anytime so just to make the correction I haven't eaten 2,500 calories <laughs> anytime but um I just don't want to go over the 2,000 mark. And this week, I've gone over the 2,000 mark one time. Just a little, but I don't want to do that anymore. I think my diet, my the way I'm preparing my foods is pretty much ingrained in me now. I'm not eating as many fatty foods as I used to. I haven't eaten out. We have reduced our fast food intake drastically. Um, since we started the no fast food issue <laughs> and I know no fast food and reduce Okay, we failed Miserably if you want to look at it as no fast food because we've eaten fast food um, I've gone to a fast food restaurant about five times and since, since I started this diet about a month. It's been about a month So about five times I've been to a fast food restaurant which is really bad but let's consider this i was eating fast food at least once a day some days twice some days three times a day so five times in a month where i was eating fast food daily it is a great reduction it's great improvement um and i expect to improve in even more next month what happened those five times is that i haven't successfully worked out a way of feeding my kids when I am happy. 
Get out of here right now before I send you to bed. Um, successfully worked out a way of feeding my kids when we're out and about and I don't have a chance. And Because sometimes I, I have a plan that I'm going to go home at such and such a time and fix food and then we'll eat. And while we're out, we'll have some nuts or some berries or some, some kind of snack. Well, what happens is I'll get a phone call and I have to go this place or that place or someone else, you know, I'll, I'll get a phone call and I have to run somewhere else or something takes a little longer than I thought it was going to take and then it runs into the next thing. And so I end up being away from home for hours on end and then I have kids who are hungry and I've tried running to the market and throwing something together. That's not as easy or as affordable as it is just to run to McDonald's and get them a Happy Meal. You know, a Happy Meal comes with a burger, some fries, a drink, and apples. <laughs> but at the same time, I think it's like about 800 calories, maybe 600, 600 calories. So I know it's bad, but at the same time, we've been doing that. Um, what we did do the last time we went to McDonald's, we did make a better choice. I decided to get cheeseburgers for everyone and we drank water. By the way, McDonald's no longer give away free water. That is so screwed. Give me some. How you don't give away free water when somebody order a sandwich? I want so, some. go to bed. No, no, no. Um, they won't give us free water. They won't give away free water no more. You have to buy a bottle of water for a dollar twenty-five cents. So I ended up going to the market anyway to buy water, so everyone can have something to drink, and we had one sandwich from McDonald's. Which my older kids thought was not fair. They thought it was wrong. They could eat like four or five. And they just like, how are we going to eat one cheeseburger? Not even a double cheeseburger. <laughs> but that's what we had. Um, I also made um, a choice when we went to Hardee's. The other day I got the chicken tenders. Um, because that's a little better than the burgers, actually. As far as calories is concerned. The chicken tenders are better. I could have chosen another a better store, but I didn't. So yeah, we're working. We're, like I said, it's a work in progress. I'm adding the next phase on, which is a 2,000 calorie cap. But we're still working on the fast food issue. I'm still working on my exercise issue because some days I do not even get an hour in, maybe like 20 or 30 minutes. Some days I get an hour and a half, two hours. So yeah, I'm still working on my exercise. I'm still working, and this will probably be a, this will probably last forever. I'll always be working on these types of things because if you're not working on getting your exercise, I don't know, it, it comes naturally. I love going to exercise. It's just, I get busy. And one of my solutions to that is that I join Planet Fitness. We are members of the YMCA, and there is um, a gym down in, City gym where we go to also an aerobics class I go to but um, I joined Planet Fitness because they're open 24-7 so there should be no excuse for me not going to do a workout. I actually went and worked out when I was freaking exhausted that was the worst workout ever. I was so tired I did 15, 15 minutes on the treadmill and then I was just like so tired I got really lazy got on the, got a massage, <laughs> massage chair so I'm going to try to do better I have a lot of assets that you know are working for me as far as how I can get my workout in. Um, so um, yeah, that's the gist of it. I'm with my diet. That's what. I'm, that's where I'm at. <sighs> And um, I'm going to try to improve, I'm going to try to do better. I did do a weigh-in, and I'm going to work on making sure I, I don't gain any weight. <laughs> but like I said, I'm right, right now I'm just really bloated. And um, yeah. Anyway. Okay, bye guys.